हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्सरसाइज सो टुडे इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल इंस्टॉल द डीएससीपी सर्वर इन विंडोज सर्वर सो दीज आर द स्टेप्स दैट वी विल फॉलो सो द कमांड इज इंस्टॉल डैश विंडोज फीचर डीएससीपी इंक्लूड मैनेजमेंट टूल सो इफ यू वांट टू कंटिन्यू विद पावर शेल यू कैन यूज दिस कमांड एंड दीज आर द स्टेप्स दैट वी हैव टू फॉलो सो देन वी विल रिस्टार्ट डीएससीपी सर्वर एंड देन वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ स्कोप सो इट विल बी लैब स्कोप 1 सो इट विल इंक्लूड एन आईपी रेंज व्हिच वी विल इशू टू आवर क्लाइंट्स फ्रॉम द स्कोप so the ip range will be from 192.168.1.50 to and it will continue up to 1.80 and then this is the ip of the server so these are the steps that we have to follow and then we will try it on a virtual machine that we will uh, uh, switch on and we will check if our dhcp server is working or not so i mean our windows server 2022 so first i will show you how can you install it from server manager and then we will continue our installation from windows powershell so if you go to server manager you will see add roles and features click on this one and click next role based or feature based installation so we will select this one and then click next and it will select the server automatically and you have to select dhcp server here so after you select you have to click on add features and we go next and here we can start our installation after we click next but we will continue our installation from powershell so now i'm going to the powershell so open powershell and we have to issue a command that i showed you just some time ago so it's install dash windows feature you can use the tab button to complete the command and then we put dhcp and dash include management tools after you enter this command you just need to press enter so let's continue this command and here you can see that the installation has started so it will take some time around 30 seconds to 1 minute and then we can continue to our next step so let's wait a little bit for it and here you can see that the installation is successful so if you see here under success it's true which means that the installation is successful and the restart is not required so we have successfully installed dhcp server and its tools so now let's go to server manager and here on the top right you will see a notification on the flag after it loads so we have a notification here so click on this one and we have to com uh, complete our dhcp configuration from here so here you can see that create the following security groups and here we have to select our credentials that we want to use the username and everything so we can skip the active directory authorization from here if we want but we can leave it as it is and now here you can see that authorizing dhcp server has failed because it is already present in my directory so it will not authorize again so we can close it from here and you can see on the left that we have the dhcp server here now so now what we have to do is we have to disable or restart the dhcp server so we have to restart it now so restart dash service dhcp server and then you press enter you can do it again as well if you want so if you want to do it twice just press the up arrow key and the same command will come and then you can press enter again so our dhcp server has restarted now so this service is okay now so now let's see what is our next step so here you can see that we have to search dhcp app and when you open the dhcp app it will come something like this or you can go to dhcp and from here you can click on dhcp manager so you have two options to open the same app and then you will notice here ipv4 and ipv6 scope option so let's expand it and it will ask you to add a new scope so in the scope if you remember i showed you the steps that we have to create a scope of ip which the dhcp server will use to issue uh, the ips from so here we will give it a, a new name so new scope 1 and this is the ip range which we have to give so it will start from 192.168.1.50 and it will end at 1.80 so 192.168.1.80 and then we click on next and here you can uh, give some ips that you want to exclude so for example from these 30 ips you want to uh, exclude something so let's uh, try something here 192.168 one dot for example 55 so we want to uh, exclude 55 so we can add it here and it will be excluded so we click on next and here you have the least time so normally if it's in a institution or something it it is normally 8 hours or it can be one week one day 24 hours it depends on the situation so then we have to give a router ip which the clients will use 
सो वी वी आर यूजिंग वन नाइन टू वन सिक्स एट वन डॉट टू हंड्रेड एज अवर राउटर आई पी ओके एंड वी कैन एडिट क्लिक नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट यू कैन सेलेक्ट इट हेयर एंड देन यू कैन क्लिक नेक्स्ट सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट इट इज यूजिंग फेक डोमेन डॉट लोकल सो दिस वन इज ओके एंड देन वी कैन स्टार्ट द सर्विस एंड स्कोप नाउ एंड फिनिश सो वी हैव अ स्कोप नाउ वन नाइन टू वन सिक्स एट वन डॉट फिफ्टी एंड हेयर वी हैव एड्रेस पूल लेट्स एक्सपेंड इट सो एड्रेस पूल एड्रेस लीज सो इन एड्रेस पूल वी हैव वन नाइन टू वन सिक्स एट वन डॉट फिफ्टी एंड इट्स अप टू वन एटी एंड देन वी हैव द एक्सक्लूडेड एंड इन एड्रेस लीज यू विल फाइंड द आई पीज विच आर लीज टू सम क्लाइंट्स सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू नाउ इज आई विल स्विच ऑन अवर सेकेंड वर्चुअल मशीन विच इज द क्लोन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन सो आई विल पावर इट ऑन एंड इन बोथ ऑफ द मशीन वी आर यूजिंग वी एम नेट फाइव इन द नेटवर्क अडेप्टर सो दे आर ऑन द सेम नेटवर्क इफ यू गो हेयर इन द सेटिंग्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन यू विल सी दैट अवर नेटवर्क अडेप्टर टू इज ऑन कस्टम वी एम नेट फाइव एंड इट इज सेम फॉर द अदर वर्चुअल मशीन एज वेल सो लेट सी इट सो हेयर यू कैन सी इफ आई गो टू सेटिंग्स आई जस्ट हैव वी एम नेट फाइव इन वर्चुअल नेटवर्क अडेप्टर टू so let's send the command alt control delete and we put our password and here if i go to ip config let's wait for it so command prompt and i do ip config so here you will notice that it is already having the ip from our uh, uh, scope so it's 192.168.1.50 so our ip is starting from 192.168.1.50 so i do ip config slash and release so it will uh, release the ip from the dhcp server so now we don't have any ip if you do ip config again you will not see any ip address and now uh, let's issue another command ip config space slash renew so it will renew the ip address from dhcp server so now it's getting the ip configuration and now we have the ip again so i can show you practical and live how it is working so we will go to another uh, virtual machine which is the first one where we have the dhcp server and here if you notice that in address layer it is empty and if i refresh it as soon as i refresh you can see that we have a client here so client ip address is 192.168.1.50 and this is the unique id which will be the mac address so let's go to the client virtual machine again and we will release the ip again so ip config slash release so it's space slash release and the ip has has been released now so we don't have any ip on the network adapter and if you go back to our server and if i refresh here you will see that from the address list the ip has gone so let's get it again ip config space slash renew and it will give the same ip again so if you remember that we have given the lease time to one day so it it is giving the same ip again to the same client i hope you have understood how to set up the dhcp server if you have any questions you can comment them below and i will see you in a next video